Hi all. Today we will learn how to deploy a Django project on Linux server using Nginx and Unicorn. And for that, I am already logged into my server. And before we begin the configuration, uh, we will create a new user on the server. Uh, it's not a good practice to configure servers using root user. So let's start uh, by adding a new user. Okay, I'll add a password. I'll leave these fields blank and then press Y. So my user is created. Now the next step is to add this user to uh, sudo group. And it's uh, really important to uh, add your users to the sudo group because your user will uh, require a lot of package installation on the server. So uh, yeah, the the user will require appropriate permissions to uh, install those packages. Now, another important step is to set up the firewall. Uh, firewall is an important aspect of the server. Although we will not go into much detail of firewall, we'll uh, look at the basic firewall setup on the server. So the default package that comes with uh, Ubuntu server is ufw so let's see right now as you can see available applications are open sss so we will allow that all right now we will enable the firewall all right let us verify the status okay now let's log into the user account okay so <clears throat> we have uh, configured the firewall here now the next step is to run update command so this will basically update all the packages installed in the server all right so if you see this error uh, it's uh, important to uh, open this file and add this line here all right now we can run the update command again okay now the next step is to install the relevant dependencies that are required to configure the server. So since it's a Django project, we'll uh, install a couple of Python related dependencies and Nginx and a few more. So Python 3 VNV The next step is to create the virtual environment. So my virtual environment is created now. I can activate the virtual environment now and create my first Django project. Let's do that. Before we create uh, our Django project, uh, we'll need to install Django first. So, okay, now my Django is installed in the virtual environment. Let's create a Django project. All right, let us look at the folder structure. As you can see, I have two folders here. One is the environment, the second is the actual Django project. Let's clear the logs and move to the project. Okay. So I'll run this command to uh, 
to migrate uh, my Django project what it will do is it will uh, create all the tables that uh, come by default with Django project okay so right now uh, I'm using SQLite database which is again uh, is shipped with uh, Django project by default you can try to configure the same project with MySQL or PostgreSQL uh, and let me know in comment section if you succeeded now the next step would be to collect static files so before I do that I need to have one static directory created here and then the setting file configured to understand this directory as the static directory so let's open that now let us collect the static file okay so my static files have also been uh, collected here now let's try to run the server okay server is running now okay um, I think it's not working because we have the firewall in place so we will first enable port number 8000 all right now let us run the server again let me enlarge it for you let me refresh it okay so it says invalid HTTP host header and the reason is that we will have to reopen our setting file and uh, allowed add an entry in the allowed host although I am marking it uh, uh, with star which is not the good practice but uh, just uh, for the sake of simplicity let's do it for now and run the server again refresh the page all right so as we can see our project is up and running on this server now so far we have done the basic configuration of the server but uh, we need to keep this command continuously running so in order to do that the next step would be to configure it with unicorn so let's first install unicorn here okay and let us test it if it is still working fine with this setting 8000 and then test django dot wsgi let's go to the browser and refresh the page again it is still working excellent now we can close the server and then come back to the terminal to do the rest of the configuration so what we are going to do uh, is uh, we are going to, going to create two files one is the socket file and uh, the second is the server file let's first create it and then we'll look at the details So our unicorn.service file is also ready. 
I'll save it and then let's open the socket file again to go through it so as you can see there are three sections here one is unit socket and third is uh, install so install basically uh, tells this file to run to activate it uh, when this socket connection is established so there are different targets on computer systems uh, sockets uh, are one of them and then we have this uh, listen stream which basically listens uh, uh, from this run uh, and uh, unicorn dot sock file the first step is uh, the first section is uh, unit which primarily uh, tells about the uh, description of the application now let's go to the service section we have again description requires so let's focus on the important part the important part is this um, and so as you can see I have given the appropriate user and group uh, information because uh, the user is group and the file will be primarily handled and uh, executed through nginx uh, server which is uh, which belongs to www data group and then we have this working directly uh, which is inside this directory we have this execute start command uh, the first uh, part is to point out the unicorn binary file the second is uh, to tell this how to handle the log files and the third one is the worker file uh, as to how many instances do we need to create for this unicorn service and uh, the last step is to bind this with unix socket so with the worker thing uh, the appropriate formula uh, is to multiply the number of cores available in your computer and by two and then add one so if you have two cores on your computer then you can idly place two by two plus one equals to five as the worker however it can be adjusted and should be adjusted based on the other projects and other services running on your computer so that this particular project or any other particular project do not start consuming lot of CPU and memory from your computer so adjust it uh, based on your requirement and uh, uh, tell me in the comment section uh, the next step is to start our socket okay now let's enable it okay the next step is to check if our socket file is created inside the run directory so let's look at it all right so it's created that means our configuration went well so far now let us check the status of our service So you can see it's loaded but it's not active to test the socket activation mechanism we need to send a connection uh, to the socket through curl let's do that So you can see there is some HTML response. It's basically the Django home page that we saw on our browser, uh, and it indirectly activated our unicorn. So if we check the status again, we will see that it is active and running. Let's close it again. The last step is to configure the Nginx server. So in order to do that, let's 
open the we will create a new server configuration here okay so our configuration file is written here uh, as you can see the server is listening on port number 80 the server name is the IP address right now if you want to configure it with any domain you must have any uh, domain available with you and then you can pass the domain name also but for now since I don't have any domain name I'll use the IP address here and then this is the configuration for fav icon this is the this is for uh, static uh, files so if you as you can see here if the URL has static uh, uh, static path uh, in it then it will look for all the static file inside this directory now we have this location setting by default whenever you access the website it will proxy pass the request to unicorn socket file as we had seen earlier and now I'll save this file and then I will create a sim link of this file into site enable directory and now let us test the configuration okay so everything is working fine so far let's now restart the nginx server our server is restarted let's go back to this browser and refresh the page again so our website is working now and uh, now that website configuration is done let's now delete the 8000 port rule okay now let's check the website again okay it's still working that was all for today we have seen how we can create a new user on the server how do we set up the basic firewall and then we set up a Django project and then from there we configured it with Unicorn and Nginx server. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.